Jeff Bezos. Yeah. What about him? I, I, Jeff is a friend of mine, but uh, I probably see him personally. I see him once a year. Um, yeah. And I, I, I can't recall ever talking to him on the telephone. Maybe I have. Or, uh, I've never sent him an email. But, but <laughs> I don't know how to send emails. <laughs> <laughs> you, know to, you know how to get them sent. So. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got a system, but yeah. I don't. I, I literally don't know how to send an email. <laughs> you seem to have done okay without knowing. So far. <laughs> but you once said to me, you know, that, I mean, he's one of the smartest businessmen. Oh, absolutely. And, and the proof is in the pudding. Ab I read his annual reports. I see him once a year. Uh, I mean, I've usually seen him once a year in the Sun Valley. Uh, and uh, I enjoy that. And actually, at Sun Valley, uh, at the Allen & Company Conference, uh, we've had a dinner that a few of us had had. And so I've probably had at least three or four of those. It's remarkable to see a, a company which was founded on selling books now is a technological giant. It couldn't happen, but it did. <laughs> <laughs> when Jeff was... And Mackenzie were, I don't know whether they drove cross country to yeah, right. New York to Seattle, but if they'd stopped at Omaha, and they said, <laughs> I, I didn't know him, <laughs> he'd say, What do you think of this idea? You know, good luck, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you have told me that he uh, at times would come up to you and have questions uh, if you were making that's a presentation a, at a conference. Yeah, at Sun Valley. Yeah. You know, um, I, you know. He's a very, very, very smart guy. And, you know, I think, you know, well, I mean, look, a good bit of his fortune is going to help society in various ways. The giving pledge is? Well, uh, he's got his own plans on, on that. But, 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 but Mackenzie, but, but, yeah. Mackenzie's joined it. She wrote a beautiful letter. If you haven't read it, go to the... Mackenzie's his former wife. Yeah, and go to the Giving Pledge uh, where we've got all the letters, and you will not read anything more beautiful than what Mackenzie has written. And she's doing it. She's doing it, yeah. She's yeah. doing no, it's it. It's not just talk. I mean, she's really making oh, contributions to, she's doing to, exactly to black colleges and lots of other things. Charlie, she is doing exactly what her inner self and what she has expressed through the letter she's written and some other things too, but the letter she wrote, The Giving Pledge, she's expressed a philosophy of life that I think is as good a model as anybody can find. And it's in that I've only met her twice, maybe. And Melinda Gates yeah. is also. Yeah. She, she's and Bill been, continues to make Bill, a, Bill a huge impact on yeah, they, philanthropy. They, and they do it, and not especially with just, during the pandemic. Not with just money; they do it with time. They're on the scene. They're, they do it with time. I mean, they give up. Time is the most precious thing you've got, you know, pretty much. And uh, they do it with time. They are giving something. Uh, they're giving something I'm not willing to give. Time. That much time to that. Yeah. I'd rather give my time to Berkshire. Because. Because that's what I enjoy doing, and, and that's what you do well. Yeah, it's what I do well, and it produces money, and that does well for other people. But it, it doesn't. It'll do better if it's given by other people. Than well, by but me. That, that was a choice you made when you gave them a choice. A choice I made a long, long time ago in terms of Susie and so on. But, but uh, yeah, right. And, and it was, you know, it, somebody's going to do something with the money, and you and those are claim checks on the on the output of others, productivity of the world. You can redistribute it to places where it's needed more. And I am all for that. I just don't want to do it myself. I'd rather do what I'm doing.